Hello, everybody. I got my glasses on, and now they're off. Welcome back to The Big Thing. It's Thursday's episode, and good news, bad news. I'm going to start with the bad news. The bad news is that Roxy Schreier is not in studio. The good news is she's still on the show. Oh, yeah. Power technology. Oh, you stop talking until the intro's <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, I didn't know because there was no music. That's because I don't. How many times have you done this show? How many times? It's hard when I'm here. Stop this. So, welcome back. So, clearly, Roxy Stryer is on the show. Um, Brett Sheridan is also on the show. Both of us recovering from the Munsters. That full re uh, reaction is on the channel. Did a lot better than I thought it would, to be completely honest with you. We'll talk about that. Talk about some of the other ideas that people had, things that we wanted to do. Um, if you're brand new to the channel, do me a favor. If you're listening on Spotify or even Apple, you can download all those episodes and the links in the description. Please go check that out for sure. If you are brand new and you've never been here before and you're like, what is this stupid show? Subscribe and find out more about it. I'm trying to get to 70,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We need you guys to help. So please do that. Help us out. I also want to bring up the Amazon list for a few reasons. One, to thank you guys. And there's really... There's really Barely anything left on the list. However, this is for any, hopefully somebody is listening who purchased one of these. We had the wireless mics that someone purchased us, and they said that they were delivered. They were not. So if you ordered those wireless mics for us, please double check that because we can't, we can't check the tracking on it. And we just noticed that where Brett and I were going through. We're like, you know, those things never came. Um, so if you ordered it, just to let you know they never showed up. But for everybody who's ordered, and whether they showed up or not, thank you for ordering them. Thank you for everybody who's joined um, the Patreon and, and all that stuff. We've got some really, we put the full reaction to the Monsters and my full reaction to Andor up on Patreon as well. You can see that. There's some brand new tiers. SEN Live is now three times live, and one of those shows patrons can join and be a part of, which is really cool. Plus, there's an exclusive patron SEN Live. Today we're going to talk about a bunch of things. TV, game, uh, House of the Dragon. I watched something on Hulu. I watched something on Hulu. I'm going to tell Roxy about it. I'm going to tell Roxy about that. She's got her TV picks. We'll talk about that. That Berserker movie. Canon might be directing that mother F. You know that? Nobody knew that, huh? Halloween Ends. There's some news with that piece of sh No, well, I don't know. I, didn't, I hmm. didn't see the movie yet, so I'm not going to call Halloween Ends a piece of Because I like the first one, so I'm, my fingers are crossed on that one. Um, and then there's other things that we'll talk about for sure. Black Panther trailer came out recently. A lot of things to talk about. So let's do it. It's the big thing. It's me. It's Roxy. It's Brett. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the big thing. It is Thursday. It is me. It is Brett. Brett's new station. And... It's perfect. It's the Dark Horizons. <laughs> there she is. Hello, Roxy. How are you? Only speaking when spoken to. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might as well okay. just embrace it. Do you know it. what threw me off? I have to be on. Okay. Did you not hear the music play for like 10 seconds mm -hmm. before you did your Did you? You, you did a quick little, but you were just protesting it. Oh. So I thought what was happening was because I am effing us all up by being home. I thought now you were just cutting out the cold open and do whatever i thought was wrong yeah you were wrong it's okay, okay. um so we are uh, and the other thing you know what i should actually do i'm gonna put the wine shot here brent how about this so we don't leave roxy out of the wine shot i was thinking we can also do this so this, is, this is where i'm gonna get funky oh yeah if i can find the damn thing uh look at this there she is can you put my head in somebody else's body um no i can't do that yet but i can definitely oh. but i can make sure you're part of the wide shot together with us so we don't have to do this without you that's so nice. Should I look this way or should I look this way? Uh, you're right in the center. You're, you're like, you're you above. You can, you can look us. down at us. Yeah, you're looking oh. down at us. <clears throat> oh, perfect. Tis, yeah. tis, tis. <laughs> you should. You should. But that, that's actually pretty great. <laughs> Will you bend the knee? Why don't, why don't you move over? Why don't you move over towards the Dunkirk thing, Brad? Keep going. Keep going. And I'll move over here. I'm I like that movie. Do you like that? Does that work? Should we put her there? Or that. Like, yeah, or, that's or a good. Like I think that'll better? work. You like her better up there? I think this is fun. Okay, we'll try that for now. 
Oh, I don't care. I'm not looking down on you anymore. I don't know anymore. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, let's, right. let's talk about a few things. So, Roxy, I'm going to start right off. The other day, I'm sitting down. This is on um, Monday night. Yeah, Monday night. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell Roxy. I want, I want Roxy to be proud. I'm going to turn on Hulu. I'm going to start watching The Patient. I'm going to start doing it. So I sit down, I bring up Hulu, have myself an edible, mm. sit down, getting ready to watch it. No one's bothering me. I bring up Hulu, and I see the Mike Tyson <laughs> series has debuted on Hulu. I knew it. So I turned on the Mike Tyson and watched two episodes, watched not a, not a second of The Patient. Oh. Not a second. And I keep hearing I knew good it. things. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I knew it because... You would have just told me at this point. And, like, I honestly don't know what to tell you guys anymore. You're missing out. If you don't want to do this for me, do it for yourselves. As if you would rather watch Mike, then you'd rather watch Mike. But you, this is a you problem now. Mm. The you problem. You're not wrong. You're 100% yeah. you're right. I, And I battled with myself over it. But I was like, I just <laughs> can't do it because I have to see it. And it's like and, – and I didn't even necessarily love the Mike thing that much. I think that I know the story really well already. Um, some of the fights, like, were, I mean, they're, it's a little cartooned. I think the fact that Mike is not, Mike, the real Mike Tyson isn't supporting the show definitely threw me off a little bit. I think the guy who's doing, playing Mike Tyson is doing a great job of his voice because it's hard to not do an impression of Mike yeah, Tyson. Yeah, and not do the really over the top. It's hard to not do it. I, I think... The guy who's playing him as an older Tyson did a much better. The, the younger version I thought was just okay. But the the guy who's actually playing him and telling the story, it, it takes place with him actually, like, the, you know, with well, the one man. Did you watch the show, Rox? No. Okay. So like, Mike asked us not to. He did. You're right. That's true. But that's not why you didn't watch it. Come on. No, um, no. I'm no, going to no, no. watch it. Uh, so we had this one. Uh, we had, but he has he had, he had this one man show, and, and he talked about everything that he was doing. Um, and his life in general, and I've seen parts of the one man show, so it, it it was it was good. His his voice was great, but I don't know. Is there something a little off about it? But I can't. But I still can't stop watching it, yeah. right? Uh, and um, I, I I liked it fine, and it, it's it gets pretty violent for sure, obviously. But um, yeah, how long I, I are the episodes? It. Like thirty minutes. They're pretty short. So the patient are twenty two minute episodes, no. and it's excellent. And know, Mike is thirty minute episodes, and, okay. and you think it's not that good? No, I, I didn't say not that good. It, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, and I think that maybe you know, it's just because it didn't tell me anything I didn't re really already know about Tyson. Um, it sounds like you should have switched over to the patient. Am I right? Ron? Probably right. No, <laughs> I even told myself that. I because after I finished episode one, I said, okay, I've seen all this before, yeah. and then I watched episode two. Also. Is there a big difference between okay and not that great? Yeah. Mm. I feel like those okay are the exact same thing. Well, not that great and terrible is the monsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, See, so you didn't have to do that with us. No, but those are completely different things too. Terrible is terrible. Not that's that true. great is okay. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah, oh, definition. on what? Yeah, your definition of it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty good. Totally. Pretty good is on the way to good. Not that great That's is right. more on the way to Thank you, bad. Thank you. It's they're oh, going you think in different. Pretty good is less good than good. Yeah, yeah. Pretty I good think is... pretty good's gooder than good. Gooder than good. Well, you just said good, yeah. so your opinion doesn't count anymore. <laughs> no, it's gooder than good. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, did you see was some of the movies? That, oh, you know, I missed. I missed tons of movies. I was on Monday night. I was supposed to see Lyle Lyle Crocodile. I know. I I was waiting for the call on that. I missed it. I missed it because I keep missing screenings because I, if I don't miss it because a kid is sick, I miss it because the kid's soccer. Oh, the soccer is the soccer. I missed it because there's a soccer this time. But Lyle Lyle Crocodile is one that I miss. I'm not going to miss. There's tons of stuff coming up. I can't tell you how much. Like I've mentioned it on this show before, March of next year is insane with the amount of stuff that's coming up insane from more like, i'm just gonna go through this one more time because it's because it's i've done it so I, i'm gonna have to open up a new tab because i don't want to lose roxy oh, i just lost her perfect you lost me no nah, i think you should be <laughs> never good. let go jack you're good now i got you um all right so i'm gonna bring up the release schedule and i want to see and i want to see what you guys um what you're looking forward to the most but i want to see roxy did you do you know how stacked it is from like even February of next year until like the end of August. 
Didn't DC move a couple things there? Is that was a big temple movies? Tons, tons. I mean, just stuff that we're going to be covering. Like, it's we're going to be very busy in February alone. Well, speaking of Titanic, actually, there's the 25th anniversary that is February 10th. Wow. Um, which is were nice. you speaking of Titanic? Oh, Jack, I yeah, spoke. Come on, you continue. Yeah. Come on. Carry on, sir. Carry on. I'm fasting. I'm hungry. I'm, my brain isn't working. Go, go. Roxy. February 17th is Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's a big one, right? So that'll be, that'll, that'll own February. And this is, this is not talking about the TV releases. At that same point, like the Mandalorian will be on TV also. So they'll be very busy that, but listen, March is. Wait, don't pass over cocaine bear. What is cocaine bear? That's about a, a bear that ate a shit ton of cocaine are you kidding was, no it's it's like uh, um i remember inspired t- by the true, ni- true inspired story. by the 1985 true story of a drug runner's plane crash missing cocaine and the black bear that ate it this wild thriller finds an oddball group of cops criminals tourists and teens converging in a georgia forest where a 500 pound apex predator has ingested a staggering <laughs> amount of cocaine and gone on a coke fueled rampage for more blow and blood I, i'm i i have to so- apologize to you <laughs> Wait, listen to this, Christian. Elizabeth Banks is directing it. Ray Liotta, Carrie Russell, Alden Ehrenreich are starring in it. O'Shea Jackson uh, Jr. O'Shea Jackson Jr. Whoa. Are you, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. This uh, Dude, this cast is stacked. Phil, I need Phil Cocaine Lord. Bear. Phil Lord and Chris Miller are producing it. Wow. Uh, you're, yeah, Brett. Well, I done. remember talking about this years ago, briefly. I, I, I it, it was, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, give me some cocaine bear. I, I, I can't tell you how much I want to see this movie <laughs> because I want to know how they're going to, how are they going to approach it? Right? Yeah. Is it going to be straight up comedy? Well, it said a rag, not ragtag, but it said something about it being a, uh, a, a, a whack. I don't know. It, I, that scared me a bit with the description. It said, I don't know what the wording was. Uh, look. But, Tagged as thriller on IMDb. It's it's a, a thriller. Good. It should be both. Yeah. A coked up bear coming after <laughs> I mean, you. There, there will be some comedy, but there, I don't want it to be to like be. like woo woo. You know. Right. I don't want it to. I don't want it to. I don't want them to do to that what they did with Tiger King with Kate McKinnon. Right. Like. And by the way, nobody watched that show. Nobody watched. I didn't it. know it came out exactly <laughs> because it was like it was it was a little it was it was way too late before it came out and and they. Tiger King had its own humor combined. You didn't even make it a Saturday Night Live type of movie um, or show. Did you watch it, Rox? You, I'm I'm with Brett. I don't feel like it came out yet. Are you sure? I don't know. I'm looking it up right well, now. Look it up. I thought it came out already. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it came out. And if it didn't come out, then it's definitely going to do bad. Because who the hell wants to watch it that far, yeah. that far away? It def- I'm telling you, it came out. Roxy will tell us in a second. Um, yeah, yeah. It came, it came out. out. Joe versus Carol. And no one watched it. it. Eight episodes. I had. I genuinely had no idea right. that this was already out. No one cared anymore. That's something you do twenty years later or something. It's- yeah. Or or the problem was that a lot of times they do that, right? They try to they try to get it because it's so popular, but they're not paying attention to the fact that in a year and a year and a half, it's not yeah. even popular anymore. It was it was like the big pandemic hit when it was when it came out, and then nobody nobody cared anymore. And plus the fact there was a Netflix series. And I remember when they cast that and we talked about it on SEN. It's like are they they're just trying to put her as Carol Baskin. It's gonna be some goofy thing. This I, was I, on Peacock. This was on Peacock yeah. in March. Yeah. Well it's been uh, it was no. I'm telling you there was a Nick Cage one in development too, right? There was. There was. Um Jesus, anyway. look at me knowing shit. All right, so look, so February <laughs> just got that much better. Cocaine Bear and Ant Man yes. and the Wasp are the ones. Is what about love? I don't know what that is. Do you know what that is? Anybody know what that is? What about um, love? Magic Mike's Last Dance also comes out in February t- on February tenth. Calm down. So February is, February is is not bad. I don't know. I said February. February. What about Love? Is a Sharon Stone movie. I don't know what that mm. is. Two young lovebirds mm. change the lives of their parents forever. Oh. Okay. Yeah, good for them. Oh, um, it's Valentine's Day. It'll be good Valentine's Day movie. Yeah. Great. But listen, um, listen. I'm gonna, I, I, and I've done this before, but I'm gonna take everybody down this road again. Listen to what you got to work with, because remember, since 2020, we have not, we've had like, 2021 has had movies that have come out, whether it is Top Gun or any of the Marvel movies or these movies that have popped in, like here and there, a few movies come out, and it's, it would make you get one or two a month, one of the two big ones, right? Rox, you would, would you agree with that? Yeah. All right. So right now. If scheduled and it comes out the way that it, it seems like it will, March third, my birthday. Yep, Creed three, and Dungeons and Dragons. Both of those movies, big, big movies. 
Those are going to, that's, that's just starts it. And then this thing, I looked it up yesterday, 65. This movie with Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt. I don't know what that is, but it's got a big cast. Um, it seems like it's a sci-fi, it's a science fiction movie. It's a $100 million movie, almost. So that kind of is the in-between. Creed Three, Dungeons & Dragons, 65, and then March 17th is Shazam. That's what Roxy was talking about before, where they, they pushed back one of the DC movies that lands there. Following up, seven days later... This movie, Champions, I don't know what that is. Champions is a, a heartwarming story of a former minor league baseball basketball coach, excuse me, after a series of missteps is ordered by the court to manage a team of players with intellectual disabilities. He soon realizes that despite his doubts, together his team can go farther than they ever imagined. Real and good movie. The cast, Woody Harrelson, Caitlin Olsen, Ernie Hudson, Cheech Marin, and Matt Cook. Now, is that a massive movie? No, but it's a feel-good movie. Yeah. Um I don't know if that's going to be one of the big ones, but the big one that week is John Wick Chapter 4. Boom. That's the big one. Then The Lost King, A Good Person. March 31st, seven days later, Scream 6. That'll be big. Um, untitled George Foreman biopic. There were some pretty big um, raves coming out about that one from CinemaCon. Um, and then April, Super Mario Brothers. Now, <laughs> no, I think that's going to do really well, though. Yeah, I but I mean, it's, really well. but that's the right. that's the Chris Pratt one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's something called Reinfeld, Reinfeld, Renfield, Renfield. Evil Dead Rise. I didn't know there was a new Evil Dead movie. Um, Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And then the Ark and the Aardvark. Okay, so no, April is it's it's got some hitters. It's not so powerful, but it's the lead up into summer. Now this is when it gets hairy. May fifth. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, LAX 2, Paris. I don't know what that is. Book Club 2, the next chapter. Sure. Oh. May 19th, Fast 10. May 26th, The Little Mermaid. Why do you say that's hairy? We've got Guardians of the Galaxy, we've got a fast movie, and we've yeah. got The Little Mermaid. Hairy means, like, intense. Oh. Intense. Like, it's it, okay. It's hairy. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Fast 10, and The Little Mermaid. Packed month. Massive month. And then right into June, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Even though it's a piss box on wheels, Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, uh, whatever Strays is. What's Strays? Strays, Strays is uh, Will Ferrell, Jimmy, Jamie Foxx, and Will Forte. Hey. Don't, don't know what it is, but it could be hilarious. No. Who knows? Um, Elemental will be big for the kids. That's June 15th. Um, or June 16th, rather. No hard What is it? it? Elemental is that new Pixar film. The one about oh. the elements and stuff, Peter Stone directing it. Uh, they, they talked about a D23 for a little bit as well. No Hard Feelings. I don't know what that is. It's got uh, Jennifer Lawrence in it. Don't know, but again, who knows? Could be good. But the big one so far in June, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Transformers Rise of the Beast, Elemental on June 16th, and then June 23rd is The Flash. It says there's an untitled Sony Marvel Universe film. I can't imagine that will stay against The Flash. But nonetheless, June 23rd is a flash. Seven days later. Oh, there we go. Indiana Jones 5. Massive. Um, Insidious 5 comes out right after that, seven days later on July 7th. And then a week later, Mission Impossible comes out, part one. Uh, June 21st, July 21st, Barbie and Oppenheimer. And then July 28th, The Marvels. I mean, already, that's just from up into July. That It is stacked. August 4th. The Meg 2, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Untitled Universal Event Film. I don't know what that is. August 11th, Challengers, Gran Turismo, The Haunted Mansion, The Last Voyage of of, De of Demeter, and then August 18th, Blue Beetle. Yeah. I mean, that's not even going in for the rest of the year, but, like, is that one of the most stacked, like, summers, like, we've, even before the pandemic? In terms of big box office movies, absolutely. I mean, in terms of like franchise characters that we know, uh, I I feel re really up in the air if The Flash is going to keep that spot. It's just, that's a wild, uh, it's wild that The Flash right now is slated for June 23rd. But other than that, I feel like most of these things are going to air when they're saying they're going to air. It's, just a, it's a big one. It's definitely a big summer extended season. So I understand, obviously, from all, all the stuff that was in, that's been in the news about Ezra Miller, why Roxy would say that, you know, who knows if it's going to stay there. And I think that she's absolutely right to, to say that, that you never know what they're going to do again and then get themselves in trouble. And, yeah. and that, 
I am going to say this, though. I think it sticks. As long as Ezra Miller keeps himself out of trouble, I think it sticks. But that's a big F, right? But, but, but I think it sticks, and I'll tell you why. I have heard people, a couple people have reached out to me who have actually seen the movie and say it's mm. incredible. That's what I hear too, Christian. I keep hearing it's bomb.com. Yep. I just, I, I think that there have been no announcements made and we all we've heard about is behind the scenes meetings right. with Zasloff and Ezra. And it's yep. like, are you guys never going to say anything? You're just going to air the movie. You're just going to put the movie out. Okay. I, I mean, guess they did the one thing the where Ezra apologized, yeah. right? He came up, but then, then, yeah. got, then got in yeah. trouble like two weeks later or something. I can't remember what it was, but either way, I, I understand. I don't think you're. I don't think it's not one of those things. I'm like, ah, oh, Roxy, how could you even say that? Of course, it's coming out. I, I, that's it's a very fair argument to make. But I, I think they're going to do it because, like I said, I had someone reach out to me recently and say, hey, just don't mention me. But I saw this movie. It's really good. It was. It had temp score and it had all this stuff too. But like, said that couldn't believe how good it was. And apparently, Michael well, Michael Keaton super emotional and just it's emotional is what what this person said. I think the only thing guaranteed about this movie is that it must be great because otherwise, why the fuck else would they be still messing around with Ezra? Exactly. Exactly. They, they know what they have here and they're not willing and Warner brothers is not willing to let this go. Uh, and Zasloff is like, my bottom line matters the most to me. I'm a business and this is going to make us money because he obviously thinks that it's excellent, which is, which is fine. But I just, I'm curious, like no PR tour. What are we going to put Ezra on a carpet? What are you going to do? I know. I don't know. That's, that's, that's a, I guess that's, I guess that's a, we'll get to that problem when we get to it for them. You know, I think, I, I think it's get it out there because they're really proud of it. Like, I can't tell you this person was raving about this movie, like raving about it. How, how, yeah, I've heard the same things, Christian, by multiple people. Multiple people have seen it. So it's apparently really good. And then, so Rox, did you get a chance um, to see the, uh, the Sholo interview that we did? No. How was it? Great. We talked about, I like that thumbnail. Thank you. We talked about Blue Beetle for quite a bit. Um, and I asked him, I said, to, you know, did it, were you concerned after all the stuff with that it happened to Batgirl that the movie was going to get pulled? Um, the director of the Blue Beetle had come out and talked about it too and the nervousness. And Sholo was like, well, we, we got signed in basically after the merger. So we, we were pretty confident. But of course, you, you get your, your nerves kind of still, you don't, and he said, it, and I can guarantee you that even the people who handled the Batgirl situation feel that they didn't handle it in the right way. You can see the mm. full interview. It's up on the, uh, it's up on the channel at the moment, but, um, he's but saying the people, beh- the people who canceled Batgirl don't just, feel like they did it well. He, he's just saying that, you know, it probably could have been handled better. I think in, in, a, in, a, he's, I wish I was as level headed and as mature as that kid oh. at 21 years old, right, Brett? Yeah, I said I, I, I was here for it, and I sat on the couch, and I just was in awe of just like, wow, this you're doing it right. This is not uh, somebody that you're going to need to worry about, you know, fame getting to them and whatever. He was, you know, he's talking about his mom and, t- you know, that he, he still has to, you know, uh, clean the dog poop and yeah. stuff. You know, it's like, yeah, he's grounded. Yeah, great kid. And I, I mean, I, I sat there going like, I hope this is a huge success. Me too, for, for him. Yeah. For him. It's like, I just root for him. He's just such a good person. He's just such a good person. I love this kid. And listening to what, and, and he really like i was gonna i wanted to see the movie i didn't know any i don't know anything about blue beetle uh, at all i'm i am interested in the movie because of him but he made me more interested in it because he told me more about the story and the stuff that i like most about ms marvel is the way he was kind of selling it to me about how how much about family it is yeah. so that's why i really am excited for it but yeah it's and if it connects to the flash that comes out that movie's supposed to come out in august and flash comes out in july does it have any connection i don't know i don't know how they're running the dceu they still don't have their they were supposed to have um dan lynn but then he passed the job up there hasn't been any new announcements on that right i don't think so D- did you just say flash is july i thought that we had just did talked I about june? i think so I but i don't know I but right. they are it's very true. close next to each other for sure right, i right. can't picture there being I can't picture there being too much crossover on this. I, I don't know what they would do storyline wise for it. So I, I think that we're they're pretty separate entities, yeah. and I think that a lot of the things that we're seeing moving forward are probably going to be have a little separation between them, especially if they are potentially canning some projects in there. That's the way that Zaslav is working. You can't have too much connective tissue. 
Yeah. Because then what happens when you want to pull one thing? It's, I'm glad to hear that he's a good dude. That's great. I love him. I love him. I've been interviewing him since he's like 16 years old, and he hasn't, he, he minus his wardrobe, he hasn't changed at all. <laughs> um, really? Yeah, That's awesome. He's the coolest. Uh, I, I, we, we like, I, we, we try to do an interview every year, and like, um, yeah, I just, he's just one of those people you just root for. Um, anyway, so I think out of all those movies in February, Ant Man and the Wasp is a movie, like, I, Loved the first Ant Man. Yes. Didn't, wasn't a massive fan of the second one. Um, the third one, the trailer, the stuff. That, did you see? Have you seen any? Is anybody? Because I don't think they released anything yet. I haven't for that seen movie. it for that one. Yeah, Kang looks terrifying. In and, and, and so I'm actually really looking forward to that one. Brett got me hyped on Cocaine Bear, so <laughs> I am very excited for that one as well. Creed three. All right, where I stand on Creed three is confused. I'm confused on. Creed. You're not excited for this movie. I was. I was very excited. Oh, but but yeah. after all the Stallone drama, mm -hmm. I don't know how excited I am. Yeah, like there's so much Stallone drama. Yeah, there is, but that it was more about the um, the TV show than it was about Creed three. What do you mean? It was more about Dolph's TV show spinoff oh. oh, that no, no. Stallone oh. was fl losing his shit over. Oh no 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 no! This is Roxy. This is a major. I'm so, out of all the people who are connected into all the drama. This is the first time I'm ever. I'm, I'm actually being able to tell you. No, about I know all the drama about him not having the rights and him being really pissed about it. I know. So but you know about the Frank Stallone mean, stuff. What'd you say? You know about the Frank Stallone stuff. I think so. What are you talking about? See, so maybe you don't know. Hmm. So let but me. But the same. But the same thing that's been going on for years. Let me tell you. You sit okay. on your All perch right. up there and the <laughs> <laughs> you see, look at you, look at, look at you. you, looking down. Look at, at you, looking down. You well, allow, allow me to talk to you now. <laughs> All right. So what happened? And I mentioned this a few times on the show for the people who had heard it before. Apologies for people who haven't. Enjoy. Um, so what had happened a little while ago was that they, their first couple of years ago, they asked why Stallone wasn't in the project. To right. Michael B. Jordan, to which Michael B. Jordan gave a pretty good answer. He said, "This is about Adonis' story, so we're moving on from the story with him and Rocky, and 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 that's it, right?" So okay, that's fine. So then, fast forward, whenever it was a year later, whenever Frank Stallone does this long post about essentially how Sylvester Stallone was kind of pushed aside, thrown out of the product uh, project, not asked to be in, involved in it. Um, and that Michael B. Jordan was kind of, uh, don't, don't trust this guy. He's, he's blah, blah, blah. And it's Frank Stallone. So people are going, wow, okay, this is Frank Stallone talking shit. However, Sly liked the Instagram post. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, well, wait a minute. That's not like, that's the, what, what's the story there? Did he get, did he get thrown out? And then you fast forward to exactly what Roxy was talking about with, he starts posting crazy t stuff on on erwin winkler who was the longtime producer of the of the movie and and all the rights and and stallone wants the rights back and he's going after him he's he's calling him and his kids snakes and and, and all oh, of this that's stuff. right yeah Ooh, everything good. just going after him and then there's more that the more reports start coming out that michael b jordan kind of pushed stallone out and and then and then the report was that well we asked no. sly to come back and he didn't want to come back and then it wasn't a TV show. It was a spinoff movie, but Roxy's right. It was it was the Drago movie was announced. Oh, I thought it was a limited series. No, it was a movie. Um, and as a Drago yeah. movie is announced, and then Stallone posts about it. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Thanks a lot, pal. And, mm -hmm. and Dolph's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I got a phone call about it. And I'm, and then he said, I wouldn't do it without Sly. And, and Dolph quickly put those flames out, right? But nonetheless, there was all this drama going on. Like, I... If if Stallone wasn't asked to come back, or if he wasn't, you didn't try to work with him. I don't know how much. I mean, I love the Creed story, and I love Michael B. Jordan, but it's gonna it's gonna leave it is gonna leave a sour taste in my mouth. So the only thing that you said that I didn't know about at all was I was not under the impression that Michael B. Jordan pushed Stallone out. Right, me either. Huh? If that's the truth, then that's a bummer. But man, I'm still so excited right. for this. I I love the Creed franchise. That's I love the Rocky franchise, but. And I feel bad for Stallone, and especially, I mean, I think some, sometimes in life you reap a little bit of what you sow, but, like, with the divorce and everything going on with him, that's just, like, probably, he probably feels like fucking asshole right now. Right. Yeah, so is Michael B. Jordan's getting divorced? No. Who? Who's getting Stallone? Stallone's getting divorced? Who's getting divorced? Yeah, Stallone. I didn't know that. See, that's the stuff I don't know about. Yeah, Stallone. Okay. And Jennifer. Well, they got to stop 
getting married. Sloan's been married like 75 times. <laughs> but he's been married to Jennifer for a really fucking I, long I, time I, with their kids. I know, but no more. Once. Done. That's it. You get married once. That's it. That's the that's the deal. Maybe I, three. What? Once. That's it. What, what if they die? Uh, uh okay. Look. <laughs> all right. <laughs> once, all right. Once with an ex- once if you divorced. If 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 some if someone passes away, then yeah, that's But if one of them, I mean, come on, if the other one's a real shit heel, uh, you got to you got to Depends on your age. It depends on your age. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you're like, if you're yeah. your abusive husband and, you uh, know, uh, true, you, true, yeah. true. Uh, there are, there are circumstances or wife. There, I don't want yes, white yes. women are horribly abusive yes. as well. There, there are, circ- there are circumstances. There are circumstances. This article from a couple days ago says from page six says Sylvester Stallone and, and wife Jennifer Flavin are recon- uh, reconciling and are extremely happy. So we know she filed for divorce, but maybe they're figuring it out. Okay, good. I mean, good. I'm really looking forward to Tulsa King, by the way. You are? Oh man. Do you do you watch? Is this that's the Yellowstone, Yellowstone spinoff, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. not a spin it's not a spinoff. It's the same it's the same creator of the show, oh. Sheridan, but it's not no, this this is um a mob it's a, he he's a mobster that went to jail for years. Oh, that's and right. And then he's sent by the mob to go run uh the the, the, the that portion of the mafia like in like or uh, Alabama or something. Yeah. Yeah, um Tulsa um, oh, Tulsa? Yeah. Tulsa? Tulsa's Oklahoma. Oklahoma. What is it, Alabama? <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting. Thank I didn't you. get the connection either. I'm like, yeah, it's Tulsa. Not, it's not Alabama. It's Oklahoma. Tulsa, West Clearly Virginia. Oklahoma. Yes. Jerry Why don't Oklahoma. you guys watch Yellowstone? Uh, I st- I watched like four episodes of the first season and really enjoyed it. But the same the same answer I can give you a million times over is that we started watching it. And then the wife was like, yeah, let's move to something else. And I never got back to it. My wife. Yeah, yeah I was, get that. that it's it. really good. It's so good. I think it's one of the top 10 shows on TV of the decade. Well, so if you're going to bet on anybody, you got to bet on uh, Tyler <laughs> Sheridan. If you're going to bet, you should use my bookie. <laughs> my bookie, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what. My bookie is the best. And we're so glad that people have been using them. And I'm getting all these people said, hey, I was, you know, was going to bet on football and I was just going to do it. And then I said, oh, I got to use the big thing code. I'll be able to double my deposit if I do it. And if you know football and you pick winners all the time, get paid for it. Do it at my pookie. You bet single game spreads, money lines, parlay multiple together to ingre- increase your payouts, low contest entry fees, and over half a million to be won. You got to make it so you don't have to be a pro gambler to have fun. And getting started is so easy. You just go to mybookie.ag. There's the uh, little uh, I card right there. Use that promo code Big Thing on your first deposit and secure a double deposit bonus. That's a promo code. Big thing. Got to use that promo code. Big thing. Get your deposit matched dollar for dollar all the way up to a thousand bucks. My bookie is a proven sports book that makes it simple to bet and win. So make this your winning season exclusively at my bookie. Use that code. Don't forget to use that code. All right, rocks. Um, let's get in. All right, Christian. Yeah. Let's get into your, uh, let's get into your TV picks and then we'll, then we'll move on to some other news, but I want to, this is, um, this is Roxy. She does the one and only. Watch this. Roxy, what do you got? Maybe one of you guys will listen to me about one of these shows one of these days. I started okay. Handmaid's. I started. What would you start? I started Handmaid's season five for you. Oh, thank you so much. That was a recommendation from last week. It's really nice to hear all these fart sounds as I work so hard to give you guys the best TV that there is. The show that is back for season three, it's one of my favorite shows on TV, and we've been waiting absolutely years for it, is Rami. Do either of you guys watch Rami? Never heard of it until right now. Okay, Rami Youssef stars in Rami. It is for people who liked Dave, for anybody who likes Curb, if you like Louie, not him but the show (laughs) anybody who likes any of these like comedian centered shows uh rami is so effing good he's a muslim man who is starring in a sitcom or not a sitcom a comedy that's also a drama about his life loosely and he puts himself in some ridiculous situations it's effing excellent and i cannot recommend this show enough it's on hulu so it's easy to watch you guys probably already have it and I think early on it was winning some awards. I think maybe Rami won a Golden Globe or something along those lines. But it's just so sporadic when he drops seasons that I think it just didn't stay in the zeitgeist. It's great, though. It's 
it's so, so funny. I, uh, I know that you won't listen to me on this one, Christian. Brett, I have a better chance with you. <laughs> Please try an episode of this show. There, this season they have like they somehow this show gets away with telling Holocaust jokes. They get away with te- like they get away with telling everything. It makes you cringe, but you're like that was funny. I can't help it. I'm laughing right now. Oh no, am I the problem? Um, <laughs> it's so good. This show's great. Uh, are you gonna watch? No, cool, good talk. <laughs> Abbott Elementary, or either of you guys on this? Christian, I feel like this would be really good with your family. I've watched none of this. Okay, good. I'm so happy about that. Abbott Elementary is back for season two, and I want to let you guys know, I said from episode one, day one, this is the new Parks and Rec. Mm. If you love The Office, if you love Parks and Rec, if you love 30 Rock, if you love those workplace breaking the fourth wall, situational comedies, this is it. It's going to be running for I'm I'm saying minimum seven seasons. Yep. I bet this runs for 10 seasons. Wow. It's awesome. Uh, it's also very East Coast. It's Philly. It's about a group of teachers who are working in the inner city school system who are trying to like better the school. So think about that, but in parks and rec terms. It's like Boston and, Public? No, in Philly. No, no, no. You remember that show Boston Public? Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched Boston Public, but that wasn't a comedy. No, but I just remembered Boston Public and I liked it. <laughs> Oh, great. That's really helpful in this conversation and relevant right now. I am from Boston, so you do get a pass on that one. Uh, Quinta Brunson just won for writing on this show, and that was also at the Emmys. Cheryl Lee Ralph is the one who gave that speech where she sang, and everybody was freaking out because she won for Barbara, too. So it's already winning Emmys. Get on the show. Otherwise, you're going to get too far behind. It's only one season deep, two episodes into the second season. You got to watch Abbott Elementary with your fam. But just to Both be clear, you, this, no ha- but this has nothing to do with Boston Public. <laughs> it, who's to say? You never know crossovers down the line. What happens when somebody needs a lawyer? There. Well, no. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is Boston Public that that one? That's a it, lawyer wasn't show. It? Wait, wasn't what? it the the lawyer one? I don't think so. Maybe you're right. I'm there was. I'm. I'm thinking of the one where there was. I'm, a, not, I'm thinking of Boston Legal. Right, Boston Public. Isn't that? Is that even a show? Did, is I, make, that, did I make that show up? Wait, is this See, like Boston hanging Public, with Mr. Cooper? There's this, okay, Boston Public was a show from the creator of Ally McBeal and The Practice. What's it about? Um, Boston Public. The lives of ten faculty members yeah, at a right. high school in Boston yes. weave in yeah, and out. Oh my right. God! Yes, Christian. I, I was let's right. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I remember. I watched Boston Public. Can I tell you something? Sure. It's still completely not relevant right now. Fair enough. But we okay, well, cool. but we did determine that it is a show. I did. I yes. did. You're welcome. Okay, please mm-hmm. go ahead. Continue. Really good work. Thank you. Another show I think you guys need to watch because it's an easy binge and we're coming out with season two very soon. If you haven't already watched The White Lotus, you should watch the show. It's a limited series. It's HBO Max. So it's super easy to get through. There's only six episodes and season two starts October 30th. Uh-huh. So you have time right now if you want to binge these six episodes. This one, like all of the Emmys, this is every single clip you see of Jennifer Coolidge now is coming from this show. It's a Mike White show. He directed and wrote it. He did School of Rock yeah. uh, and has done a lot of other things. I think that this is a really, really easy watch. And it's funny. And it's poignant at the same time. Michael so. Imperioli's in this, yes? Um, who's in it? Christopher Moltisanti from The Sopranos. I thought he was in it. If oh, it- maybe season two. Oh, okay. Maybe season two. I think I heard that, that he was cast. Okay, okay. Um, it's Murray Bartlett, Connie Britton, Jennifer Coolidge, Alexandra Daddario. Oh, I'm in. Uh, and um, a lot of, oh, uh, Sydney Sweeney for you younger kids who love Euphoria. A lot of names that you recognize. There's some big wigs on the show for sure. Okay, so we got some good and, picks so far. Yeah, really good ones because I'm very good at my job. Um, <laughs> Boston Public coming up next. <laughs> the sleepers. They're bringing shit. it back? Yeah, Boston Public good. is so wild. They're coming good. back for a season 17 after all these years. Ezra Miller's uh, playing the principal. <laughs> Can you imagine they're doing auditions? I'm auditioning for Boston Public. Somebody sends them this. Like, can't cast her. She didn't know anything about Boston Public. (laughs) Oh, uh, okay. I'm putting Andor on my list. And I I think this might be the first time I'm putting Andor on my list because I'm finally understanding what's happening on the show. Thank you to Ace, to Christian, to DJ Woldridge for everybody taking the time to explain to me what is actually taking place on this show. I'm finally with it. Last night's episode I thought was really good. Thank you. 
I feel like next week's going to be sick nasty. Okay, stay, stay there. Stay there for a second because Same. because well, this is this will be a quick this will be a spoiler for Andor. So if you don't want to go to the next topic. I said inside, and I haven't, I don't know yet, because at the time of this taping, I just put my spoiler review up. I haven't looked at the Sith stuff yet. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of people who say, this is so boring, nothing happened. And I thought so much happened. And I thought the buildup for the characters was the most intense out of all the episodes so far, because it really leads into exactly what Roxy just said. You care, you're going to care so much about what happens on this mission now. If somebody dies, you're going to be pissed off. If they do it, you're going to feel excited. I just thought the buildup and the writing for this episode, Roxy, was just so good. Yeah, it was definitely my favorite one. Yeah, which I know other people don't feel, but I love character development yeah. episodes. And I feel like I now understand where people are coming from. Even again, not too much of a spoiler, but like that apology moment, that's Great. the best you're going to get. Yep. I just was like this. I see who we are going into yep. this yep. and we've been leading to this moment. I thought that was really cool. And I've been asking for that. I'm like, I want a little more. I, I'm not invested in these people yet. And I felt really invested in specifically um, those two characters, the guy that Evan Moss plays, um, who's cousin from Bear, and Cassian Andor, Diego Luna. I was like, yup. And even the girl who kept the secret. Like, yeah, everybody. I thought that it was a really good episode. I really liked it. Um, okay, the other one that you guys are probably watching already, but I didn't love the first episode. I've loved every single episode since House of the Dragon. Mm. Another really good one. I'm going to be sad when this show is gone. Yeah. I, it's I've definitely taken that like Sunday spot uh, of you don't wait until Monday to watch it. You sit your ass down on Sunday night and you watch the show. And it's really good. Every new cast that they bring in is just as good as the last cast. Yep. And it's just great. The show's excellent. So do you think it's going to be – so this is the thing, a conversation I have with um, a few people that there was this – some like, some people think because of the – books that were written on the Targaryens and because it's 200 years beforehand that this series could turn into an anthology series, right? Like, but the, mm -hmm. the, but the question is, does that happen in season two or do we stick around with a lot of the characters and the actors that we have? And then eventually once you get to like season three, season four, season five, that's when you start venturing off. I, I would prefer them do it that way. I'd prefer to stick with this cast because both Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook answered the question and then some of whether or not they could pick up from what the younger actresses did. I think I had no idea who Emma Darcy was before this, and they're just knocking it mm -hmm. out of the park. What yeah. a powerhouse of an actor Emma Darcy is. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, can, I agree with you. I think the thing probably leaning against what you're saying is the fact that we have, I think, 10 episodes this season, mm -hmm. um, which – is a season in which we've covered, I think, 26 years. I don't know why they would have done such extreme time jumps if they were planning on keeping us with the same group of people for five seasons. I don't think five seasons. I think maybe two or three. Maybe, maybe. And I would rather that as well. Um, if you look on IMDb, there's a season two that like uh, has – episode season two episode one if you look under their episode guide and i know this doesn't mean much because they haven't been updating their imdb accurately because they want to trick you yeah. but it has a picture of emma darcy and olivia cook on the cover of it okay. which is interesting to me interesting enough at least yeah maybe that gives you guys some tea well the next um, episode the kids definitely got older so i mean it it, it jumps a bit no it more. jumps no that's, I think that's that's what rox is saying is that you know it, it there's gonna be all these jumps and it, it it very well could end and then next year next season is a whole different is a whole different cast i hope they don't do that yet i think that eventually i'm cool with that i just don't want to see that happen yet can i ask you some like spoilery territory yeah, questions because yeah, yeah, i want to know your thoughts spoilers for Brett, you're not watching this right no i'm caught up oh, you are you're caught up oh yeah. my god Okay, so I'll ask both of you guys this. Um, do you are you guys fully on the side of the little kids that take out his eye, or who are you fully on the side of? I, I, I am on their side. Mm -hmm. However, yeah, the way that that kid was Eamon, right? The way that Eamon did his thing, Eamon was getting bullied. Eamon was getting picked on. Eamon said, 
fuck this. I'm going to get in this big ass dragon. People are sleeping. I'm going to get what's mine. Should he have done it at the time when his when you know one of his family members just died? Probably not. But he but he did it. He tried. He could have got set on fire. He was fine and he earned it. Right. So that okay, you went out and you got what what's yours. It's when he came back, Joffrey oh, no. style, just f- slinging cock, dick out, <laughs> just dick out, like- to just walking, going. Yeah, fuck off. Your mom yeah. Your mom died. I stole her dragon. Now get out of my way, twat. Yeah. And you're like, whoa. So that's when he lost me because the kids, and, and, I, and I, as a dad, the moment that really bothered me was when the littlest kid got hit. Yeah. I know. And like squealed. Like, like you're just, that's just a little kid. That, that bothered me. Um, and that fight was so gruesome between all of them. Well, but, he had a rock. He was about ready was to crush ready. his brains. Yeah, in. yeah. Like, he was, so, 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 I was definitely on their side. For I, I think a hundred percent. But I'm not going to lie when I say uh, the way the kid carried himself a little bit there. He's got balls now, and he's throwing his brother under the bus. And he's he stepped. It was his coming out party. Yeah. Because he even said at the very end when he's like, "Hey, listen." I got a dragon. I lost my eye. It's a fair. It's a fair price. You're like, That's the first moment that I really was like, "This kid gets it." Dick out. Because he, you know, he didn't say. Um, at the end of the day, he was like, "Fair." Yeah. He took my eye. I got a fucking dragon, bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and I was like, "Ooh, that's true." And, uh, and 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 Otto says as much. He goes, "The kid said it." Yeah. He yeah. He paid a price, but it was worth it. It was a good deal, and I well, love you guys. That. Yeah, go ahead. 2022, 2022, honest question, no no joke really asking, would you give your eye for a dragon in 2022? Uh, One eye. If I'm in that kid's house or if no, I'm just you, me? If you are <laughs> no. you, if you're no. Christian Harloff at home. No, it set me up and it set me in flames. Yeah. Uh, no, you can ride it like he rode it. Like it, it listens to you. Maybe for a house and kids' college tuition. Yeah, I'd yeah. be down for right. it. losing I, an eye. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, it's yeah. it still seems like a lot of work. I mean, my pug's a lot of work. I would give my eye for a dragon. Because you could wear. Because you'd be able to rock a patch. I feel like if you have a dragon, you are the pe- most. You have all the power in the world. You have a fucking dragon, bitch. It's a little scary. Of scary. Yeah. Why are we yep. echoing now? Well, it's like the here. time that Christian said if he could do anything, he would control people. Mm. No. So, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> so so let me ask you, Roxy. Why am I echoing a lot in your thing now all of a sudden? Did you hit a button? No. All right. Let me try this and see if the... Oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to hear you if that's the case. Here. I'll put my headphones in. Okay. So let me ask you a question before... And, and don't just answer it because you want to prove your point. I want you to answer the actual question that I'm asking. Okay? Yeah. You ever go into an audition and you audition a particular way, you walk out and you go, shit, had I just said this and, and said the line this way, I think I would have impressed them and got the job. Have you ever been in that position? Yeah, yeah. So if you had a superpower that gave you the ability to do that, would you take that? No. Okay, well, I would. And I'll tell you why. Because here's the difference. <laughs> but here's, the, here's what, because when you take, if you say... Well, my superpower would be to fly, right? Because no, I didn't say that. No, no, no. I'm just saying in general, like you, just she you in general. Flying a dragon, she wants. Right, but look, no, but, the, but, the same, but, but the same thing. Even, but you, you're saying that when you're talking about having a particular, right? Teleportation is your thing. Okay, so couldn't you essentially use that power for evil? Couldn't you take that? Oh yeah. Take someone, grab them, drop them off a cliff if you were a serial killer, if you wanted to. And just grab somebody, teleport them, kill them. You could do that without teleportation. You could grab somebody and. But I'm just saying, like, let's say, let's say someone's si- sitting on their couch watching television. You know where they are. You teleport. You grab them. You throw them in. You throw them off a cliff. You kill them. They don't even know because you just teleported back, and now you're in a bath. You percentage could, wise, Christian, your thing is controlling other people. That's not. It's that's no. So that's, that is that is not true. It is, the, that's, is that's not no it's not you're the power that i that to so people who know who are not like what the hell is the power controlling is me saying if i was going to say okay right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make brett go and jump off of a bridge that's, right that's controlling what i'm saying is having the right answers if brett's if brett said to me if brett was i was like you know i really would like brett to come to a to a concert with me right and brett and i was like brett hey if i said to him now i don't have a superpower yeah. i was like you want to like, i'm tired well, what have I told you that so and so was coming? Ah, still doesn't. All right, how about me and you? Christian, didn't we go, you say we that have a mind time. control? 
It was mind but control. But it's not mind control. It's a matter of it's a matter of what it's, you said, as, it's power the of power per, persuasion. No, power of persuasion. Power of persuasion. And, power and, persuasion. And power of persuasion, but it's using but it's not but it's not use, it's using words because there are sometimes you're in a room and you say, Fuck, I said the wrong thing. Had I said this, yeah. I might have gotten that promotion. Had I said this, I would have gotten that loan from my family. I would have done this. I could have done that. I could have done but that. But also the it's same the thing. Words. If you said that, you could have gotten somebody to do something they didn't want to do. 100%. But who's to say that you couldn't do that with any power? Mm -hmm. If it's, I'm not saying if you couldn't strength, do that with any that, power. Well, I just think I'm you saying. could extra do it with yours. <laughs> I think you, well, if you had the power of strength and someone tried to arrest you, you punch them in the head, you tell you, you, you knock down a tree, of course, you do of this. Of course, any superpower is any a power, superpower that can, can be used for, for evil. evil. Anything yours is can be just used. more I, often used for evil. But, but couldn't you, no, no, more often, who the hell has it all the time? But couldn't you also. No, I'm saying would be more <laughs> often, like, but, if you were, if you're, if we're polling, like, Kilgrave status, right? Yeah. Like, if we're looking at super villains, how many super villains are teleportation villains versus persuasion? But the villains? same goes to this. Say, say that there's somebody who's about to use. Let Let's say there's a there's a let, uh, let's say Putin. Okay. Let's say that I was able to use this power, and then I could say, you know what? Me right now, I can't get a meeting with Putin, and even if I did, of course I'd probably you could use it for good. You can that's use what I'm anything saying. for good. So, but well, that's Christian, the point. I, I just think that if you have the ability to get anybody to do anything you want them to do, that's fucked up. I think because it's not. I think then it's what the power do you want words. for in life? I think what do you need for in life? I think it's the being. I think the the power the power of words of being able to use the right words. That to, to me to get anybody to do anything. If look, if you can, if if you can do that, if you're able to say this to people, and it's again, it's not a matter of saying of hypnotizing people. It's using the right words to say things like again. That's that to me is. A power I think a lot of people I wish would have because again, if people were able to do that and have conversations with somebody on, if there's a point that you know that it's is so, so scary, right, Christian, it's so scary. I, Everything I'm, you're I'm, saying is so scary I, I, because I, I you disagree. already kind of have this power. Every no, I don't. Christian, have you ever noticed when you walk into a room, everybody does what you want them to do? You have the power. The, you well, already have the words. Who? Who is? Who, who, wait, what? There's no got, no chance. You got so many like followers christian imagine if you could just tell them like go do this but that's, thing but that's not that's not it you understand yeah, what i'm saying yeah i do i get yeah no brett be honest tell, brett, please, i honestly please. know what he's saying and i th this is the thing he is only bringing up uh uh, uh positive things with right it. and i think that's i i but i also see what you're saying that it could be used but but, but what christian's anything. saying is anything could be used for evil anything so it depends could, on the situation extra used. Any all i can do is one at a time fucking bring somebody to a cliff no Fine. One, that's you could, all you, you could do you could you could globe. you could steal you could you could mm. you could be a spy no, one you at could a give... time i'm saying micro you could convince an entire globe to do whatever you want them to do. That's not true because that's not true because because that's the, that's the whole point. Like that's How's why that policy, be, because if I was out there because you're you're looking at it as hypnosis. That's not what I'm saying. If I have a conversation with Brett about this conversation alone, I'm having a conversation with him saying the right words right now. The way he's saying, okay, I understand what he's saying. I'm not saying the right words no. to you right now because you, you're not all a, the people listening. What, they, you could talk to anybody. But that's what I'm. But everything. that's what I'm telling you. What I'm saying is having the right word. Like I wish that I could put into words the whatever it might be that you go oh i understand what you're saying mm -hmm. like because you don't i right do now. understand what you're but saying i you don't agree with you, it that's, that's, well, that's what my makes point. me human I, but that's what, but there are words there are words have i found it in a certain way to relate to you to relate to your life the things inside that i might no. be able to convince you how do you know no because because i disagree with you i know but you've never disagreed but you've never disagreed with someone and then you go oh wait that was a point I never okay, saw. I don't yeah. agree with you as much anymore. I That's have, but this I've thought about for five years since <laughs> I know, you said it. Because it's the same point, because I don't have the words to express it to yeah. you in a way. Yeah, That's what I'm trying to not, say. And yeah, you've locked you into like your that, opinion. You could, you, yeah, and you're you locked in. You could convince anybody. You could express to anybody in the right words that the earth is flat. You could express to no, anybody no, no. in the right words the vaccine's going to kill them. You could. They're well, right yeah, words I mean, look, look you're not wrong in the same way that, like, that's why someone and someone who is like, okay, I can fly. All right, well, I'm going to fly and I'm going to grab the president and drop them off of a thing. Like you said, As anybody can person, do something bad. Anybody can do something bad with their one stuff. person. You could you could go out to every single what, what do we have, like three billion people on the planet, mm -hmm. the six billion, however many billion. Yeah, but they're are. not all going to listen to the points the same way. That's the whole thing. You have an individual conversation. It's like my, the, the Putin argument is what I was to say before. I cannot get a meeting with Putin. And even if I did and I started have to say that and, and even if I said, hey. President Putin, you need to stop the war. 
I don't think I'm leaving Russia. I don't think you ever hear from me ever again. However, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is maybe I could find the words. If I knew how, if I had that power and I had the words to say, hey, buddy. Like maybe right, this, you could then, use it for good. Stops, right? I agree, Christian. You could use it for good. So why you I just think you think I would use it for bad? Is that what you're no, saying? No, not not you specifically right. would use it for bad. I think it's very dangerous for anybody to be able to convince anybody any of power, anything they want. Any power. I'm I'm so I am very curious to hear what the audience yeah. says because I I want to. They're going to agree with you because it's the Christian Harloff show, and that, I agree with you on everything not, you could say. I took a turd on Roxy's face. Was I right? That is. Say, you are right, that Christian. Is so not true. That is, oh my god. That is so. Not not true. That is Brett, uh, how many times I, you just you had his fans blowing, <laughs> 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 which I guarantee they would. No, that was but, Ro- that was Roxy's power of persuasion to get yeah. them to not agree with me. Yeah, that's exactly what she was. Doing. No, it wasn't. Yes, it I'm, was. not, I'm not necessarily disagreeing with you, Roxy. It can be used for bad. I yeah. know it can. Yeah. I just think that what he's saying is if 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 he could solely use it for good, it would be a good power to Look, have. Look, would I use it to get Julia Roberts to go out with me back t- 10, 15, 20 years yeah. ago? Probably. But I'd find the right <laughs> words. Anybody would, but that's bad. It's not yeah, if you know the right things to say. I'm not no, I'm not doing I'm not doing this and having her follow yeah. a laser pointer. I'm just saying I know the words. Oh, Even that's knowing the right things to say. I'm accessing is not in my brain. Who you are. I mean, no, yes, but, I, but, that's you. You. but that's what I'm trying to tell you. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what this power would be: is the the ability oh. to know what to say. That it is you. Why can't you parts. accept that do I disagree with you? Because I'm telling you the reason. I think it. I I think that. But I, I disagree. Do no, you watch see? Umbrella Academy? Have you seen, seen it? it? Yeah. So I don't know what the character's name is, but she can make people. She can change people's minds. But she's changing she's their minds. Changing their minds. He's right. not saying changing. He's just saying whatever they believe in. He would like to use the words that are right in 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 getting them. And, yeah, to do it, just, it just points. It's like when you see when you but have not someone, everybody wants to do everything. Just say you could convince me of something. That doesn't mean it's the right thing to do or that I wanted to do it. Yeah, but maybe. But that's the whole point. It's like like when you listen to someone who gives a really good speech, right? If someone, if I you're, get if, it, Christian. Yeah, I get you, it. Like, there's poli- get there's it. politician. There's politicians out there that give these speeches. And you're like, I didn't like that I guy. Disagree. I didn't like that guy. That guy. That that guy. That woman. Going into that speech, not on board, but man, did they say the right things? Did they say the right thing? Man, I'm I'm really on board now. That's the whole point. It's just a matter of access. I had to words. convince my kid to eat chocolate cake one time. Yeah, and I'm like, are you shitting me? There was something, but there was a disconnect there. Right. I know you're going to like that. I know you, right. but I can't That's give you the saying. right. Yeah. yeah it's just a I hear of, you uh, guys, and I disagree, which is okay. Well, you're not allowed, you're allowed, to. You're not allowed to. Well, my, my you don't know my, how to have conversations or watch TV. That's right. I know. I know. Broad. Oh man, <laughs> I'm broad. I'm broad. Like, unbelievable. Yeah, I'm. I am curious to hear what the audience is going to say because I think. Look, when we did this back, and and I disagree with Roxy where she says that the audience is going to agree with me because back in the Collider Live days, it was it was very it was very split. Yeah. Oh! What? What? It was split. What was then. split? People like you and me? No, no, fool. It was. No, it was no. split. It was split on that argument. Oh, I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. You know for a fact, or you're just saying that to? to no, no, I don't know that for a fact. I thought you meant it was split between how they felt about you and me, which is egregious. No, but if you're talking about specifically that argument, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Well, we'll find out in the comment section. So um, to close out this segment, yes. I think you guys should watch The Patient. Um, <laughs> does that have yes. anything to do with Boston? Boston <laughs> It does. Can you guys watch the patient? God I, damn it! I will. I uh, rocks. I got to tell you, once Game of Thrones wraps up, I've got two epics. I got Game of Thrones and uh, or, or House of Dragon and Lord of the Rings, and we managed to slip in Handmaid's Tale because we'd finished everything up. But I think it's once these epics end, I will hit these thirty minuteers. But yeah, I mean, because I can't. You know, I'll do. Uh, you know, one of each of those, and yeah, I'll be a little sleepy. Are you watching Lord of the Rings? No, I only watched the first episode. I hear that I should be, though. So, I don't know if you should be, yeah, but not- I, I, I'll say episode one was boring, so I understand why yeah. you bailed. I get it. Two, I thought was pretty good. Three was okay. Four, the, the Harfoot stuff, I'm out. I can't. The Harfoot <laughs> stuff is, is horrible for me. Um, What's thought, that, a what, character? They're like the little hobbits. But I think four was actually oh. good, and five was like dullish. The last episode was great. It was, it was the only great episode thus far. I thought it was like a real, I mean, like the other episodes were good. Some were okay. Um, but I think that 
this was a, this was a, gr- did you like this last episode? Oh yeah. It's pretty You great. told me you're like, Oh, get ready. Yeah. Cause I thought I was caught up at that point, but no, that, that one definitely, you know, I mean, and I, you know, again, it had more action. It had less of just, you know, a, talky talky yeah. but the build up but i will say to be fair the build up from everything from one through five made it made important. that happen. Yeah, yeah for sure for sure um lot to be discussed here a lot to be discussed in the comment section so make sure you do that there was uh i mean look man between oh that's the show between the movies coming out between television shows to watch between being able to use your powers for good and not bad <laughs> Because if you go to that bad place right away, you got issues. So don't do that. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the show. Make sure if you didn't already check out the Munsters reaction with Brett and I, please do that. We and, and as I said in the reaction, we don't ever say that we did we did something. We just did this for you guys. We just did it for you. So you this one we just did for you. So please watch. <laughs> um, it, it was brutal, but we had some really? fun. We want to make some T-shirts. There's ones that the T-shirts, if you know it, the T-shirts that I would like to make is uh, Take That, John Wayne. That's probably part one. Um, I think just where, 54, where are you, even though we can't put car in there because I think that's probably copyrighted. Um, and then um, did we need this much exposition? Those are the shirts, I think, that I, that I liked from those. Um, if you haven't subscribed, or Apple Podcasts, make sure you're following us on Spotify. Very helpful. Thanks once again. If you haven't joined the Patreon, please do. We have so many things happening on Patreon right now. There's a trivia contest going on now. Uh, Q&A's coming up. We released the full reactions there. There's Schmoes No old content that's up there that you can check out. And then for SEN, for both Roxy and Brett, three episodes live, one exclusive to Patreon, and patrons can join one of those live shows. So make sure you join up. So you can get those links. Uh, thank you to Roxy. Thank you to Brett. And thank you to you guys. I appreciate you and all the support that you've been given on the channel. I appreciate you very, very much. And we'll see you all on the flip side. Peace.